The benefits of being comfortable in the field can't be underestimated. In this video, I'm going to do a preview of the Decathlon Backpack Chair. Hi folks, I'm Richard, G3CWI. And I'm a big believer in being comfortable when I'm operating in the field. When I was in Decathlon recently, I saw this backpack chair in their hunting section and thought maybe I'd give it a go. So in this short preview, I'm going to look at some of the, the features of the backpack chair, uh, discuss how I've got on with it so far, and I've only had it for a day, so it's uh, by no means a review, it's simply a preview. Uh, and then just discuss how it might fit into your portable radio setup. Decathlon is a French company and they have outlets across the USA and across Europe and probably in other places as well. They have a great reputation for producing budget gear that's of really high quality and I'm hoping that this backpack chair will be one of those types of items. Will the backpack chair combine the best of both items or the worst of both? Let's find out. So a few first thoughts. Uh, I've cycled here about four miles with the backpack chair on my back and it's reasonably comfortable. It's by no means as comfortable as a proper rucksack and so you wouldn't probably want to either cycle or walk particularly far with the backpack chair on your back. It weighs in at just under two kilograms, so it's also not particularly light. So it'd probably be ideal for those sort of situations where you don't have to travel too far and indeed don't need to carry too much. Its capacity is about 25 litres and that's divided between two compartments. A larger compartment which has double zips, which is handy if you want to put in a mast, a short mast or a camera tripod, something like that. Uh, and a smaller compartment which just has a single zip which would be ideal for sandwiches, gloves, that sort of thing. The shoulder straps are only lightly padded. There's no waistband or chest strap. Because it's perhaps not quite as comfortable to carry as a proper backpack, then there's a bit of a trade-off between having a little bit of discomfort when you're walking to your location and having more comfort when, you're actually, when you've actually arrived at the location. And you might think that possibly a better trade-off would be actually to carry a small camping stool within your normal backpack. And indeed, that could well work out for a lot of people. I've got a question for you. Do you think this sort of backpacking chair is a good idea? Is it something that would work for you or something that you'd just leave at home? Do let me know in the comments below. It's always interesting to share ideas. For me, one of the big advantages of having somewhere comfortable to sit is it also gives you somewhere comfortable to have a drink. And by great good fortune, I've got a bottle of Brewdog Dead Pony Club here, which I'll be trying. Saddle up for session, it says. Well, I've only got one, so it's hardly a session, but let's see how it goes. Hmm, not bad. Quite like that one. It's described as a session IPA. So it's a relatively uh, lightweight beer in that respect. Yes, 3.8%. Uh, not bad at all. Quite a nice flavour, quite bitter. Good point to say that uh, if you like this sort of video and uh, you find these kind of slightly quirky instructional videos useful, then do consider subscribing to the channel. I produce content pretty regularly and you won't want to miss out. So hit the subscribe button and uh, also you might want to set the notifications on so you actually get a notification uh, when I'm posting new stuff. Thank you very much to uh, all those who have bought me a beer. I always appreciate the beers that I uh, drink during my activations and during my portable trips. So a big thumbs up to everybody who's bought me a beer. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.